Hi everyone! I'm Teacher Im and I prepare videos to help my students score better in their STPM Maths D paper and I hope my videos can be helpful for you too. Well, do subscribe to my channel because I really really would appreciate that and do hit the like button too if you like what you see. Well, today I'm going to talk about solving inequality involving logarithm expressions and let's go to the video i will start by explaining the important property of inequality for logarithmic function Okay, let's check this out for the first one. If b is bigger than a, x is bigger than 0. And if you notice that uh, x is bigger than 0 is for almost every properties. Okay, so you really, really need to take note of this x bigger than 0, which means the value here. Okay, for the logarithm, it has to be bigger than 0. And we are going to use that afterwards in my question. Okay, so when this b becomes bigger than 1 or x bigger than 0 for the logarithm if let's say you have one side of the log okay for example log b uh, x bigger than y then the pro inequality that we are going to build is x bigger than b power of y okay and so on if you notice that this is a uh, bigger than okay the inequality follows if you have less than, then the inequality is from 0 to b power of y. Okay, if the in you have log on both sides, then the inequality will be okay. If you have x bigger than log uh, the other one with the log also, then the inequality symbol also follow. Same goes for the less than if log less than log uh, b y then the inequality also follow you just take the x less than okay if you don't want to memorize this you can actually refer to this graph okay this is for b bigger than one which is the first one here. the first three uh, diagram here if you notice as the uh, value of x go bigger the value of y also increases so which means and if the value of y decrease uh, x decreases the value of y also decrease so which means the inequality symbol they basically follows okay so if you remember your logarithm uh, graph it will look like this okay now for this green one over here y zero okay so zero until b power of the x because you know already for the graph okay for the graph when b is uh, for this logarithm graph you will notice that this value when x equals to zero it is actually the asymptote of your graph okay which means this graph will not touch or go beyond x less than zero okay it will stop here and it will go down 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 okay it will not even touch it, the zero value of zero okay so that if you don't want to memorize these properties, uh, these three of them, you can use the graph to refer. Okay, basically, if as the x go bigger, the y also go bigger, and if the get x get less, the y also get less, but it will never touch or even. Okay, it will never touch uh, the value of zero. It will go very near because that value x equals to zero is the asymptote. Okay now if we have another one where we have the when the value of v is from zero okay it will never touch zero is for bigger than uh, zero or less than one then the graph will change position so for this case if you notice as the x go bigger the value of y is coming down okay so it is actually the opposite so if you notice when you do the inequality you will notice that the symbol itself will change okay so if i go bigger then the value of x will change symbol so when we are talking about the inequality we have to take note of the symbol so as the get x goes to the left hand side less you will notice that the value of y is increasing so the 
symbol actually of inequality actually changes okay so if you have bigger than then you will have when you do the inequality is going to be less than you can use the graph to help you see okay another one is the b the value of b will never be zero and it will never be one so it's from zero to one but it never will be zero or one okay that is the base of your logarithm yeah that's the base the b is your base of the logarithm and the value of b is always base is always bigger than zero okay so there's a few things that you need to take note when you do the uh, inequality okay so let's see the question so let's say if i want to solve the logarithmic of this inequality for log 5 the base is 5 x less than 2 so when i want to do this i have to remember my properties okay so as b is bigger than 1 so this base is 5 so indeed it's bigger than 1 the x is bigger than 0 that is for sure so i'm going to write my inequality as this 0 for bigger than 0 and less than b power of y so it is going to be like this okay 5 power of 2 so the base is 5 so it's 5 power of 2 and it will go above 0 okay once i have this written out already then i'm going to do the inequality so what i'm going to do is i'm going to set this as 5 power of 2 so 25 and i will need to write my answer in either set notation or i can write it in this type of notation form okay you can write it in set form or in this form okay because the question did not specify which one but you cannot i repeat again you cannot re leave your answer as so okay let's go question two okay in question two there is some changes that you need to do before you solve this question okay so what you are going to deal with is you are going to bring this number eight and do uh, bring it over to here the inequality has becomes bigger and equals to okay so you will set and choose which properties are you following so i'm going to choose this one when x is bigger than one Okay, the property says when x is bigger than 0, the log is for one side. So I'm going to choose this x bigger than the base uh, power of 3. Okay, so now I got the answer. So I will have the x cube, uh, 4 cube. So you will have 64. And I'm going to write this in the format of my equation. Okay, so let's write it in the correct format first. Okay, so just I remind you again, you cannot leave your answer in this raw form, x bigger and, uh, than 64, like that, no. Okay, you must make sure, you must make sure that it is written in the format of a set form or in this type of notation. Okay, either it is it's going to be in set form or in the format. And please take note of this one because this is x bigger and equals than 64 so the notation has changes to uh, with the square bracket okay so that is you learn it when you are doing in uh, the notation okay if you need a video on this please tell me yeah uh, because i assume that most of your teachers have already taught you how to put uh, to write the inequality in notation form if you need a video and you couldn't understand how I uh, why is this square bracket here, please tell me. I will make a video for you. Okay. In this question number three, okay, you have to take note that the value of x four minus three here. We need to check the inequality. We need to check the domain afterwards. Okay. So if you have a question where you have unknown as the uh, logarithm, okay, the base is so still solid, it's still five. So we still can choose our properties. So when b is bigger than one, 
Okay, the base is bigger than 1 and the x have to be 0. So here, because this is an unknown with some kind of calculation, so we have to take note, this value have to be bigger than 0. And then the properties, we follow the properties and we're going to copy this as so. Okay, so the base, uh, uh, the inequality, okay, 4x minus 3, and that is going to be cannot be uh, less than zero, so it's from zero until five power of three. Once we have already set that, then we are going to do the uh, simplify. Uh, we simplify the equation. So just remember, I I just you don't need to write out plus three. Yeah, I just want to show you that we are going to eliminate part by part. So I'm going to like uh plus. 3 on all the elements so i'm going to write plus 3 and then i'm going to simplify it as so okay like i say just now 4x minus 3 is a number that i need to check okay so i have to make sure that it is bigger than 0 so i have to write 4 minus x minus 3 bigger than 0 that is from this property over here but because of the value of x now that there is something added to it so i need to know that domain of my value of x so i will write it as so okay i will get something like this okay once i'm done with all the inequalities i'm going to put all right so now i'm going to put both of the inequality together and i'm going to draw a number line for it for me to know where exactly the domain that i need okay so what i'm going to do is where x is bigger than 3 over 4 and x is uh, between uh, 3 over 4 until 32 so i'm going to draw the number line so that is for the first one 3 over 4 until 32 and this second one is for x bigger than 3 over 4 because i have two sets of them uh two sets so i need to make sure where is my position so i draw a number line and from there i see where where two lines are matched together Okay, when two lines are matched together, that's where I want my answer. So the solution for this inequality is from 3 over 4 until 32 because that is the position where both lines are together. Okay, and both of them here is round dot and over here is also not included. So the round dot. So I know both of them is not included. Included. So it's less than, uh, bigger than 3 over 4 and less than 32. Okay, for the notation, so both are not included, so both of them are in round dots. Okay, so let's go for the fourth question, which is also later about this question. Okay, so for this question, I need to take note of the uh, inequality for both sides. If you notice, there's lock on both sides. So I will need to make sure that I put my answer in this position and following the properties, I will take 3x minus 4 will be less and equals because the equals uh, symbol are involved. So less and equals to x plus 1. Okay, once I'm done with that, I'm going to rearrange. Okay, I'm going to rearrange. So, and I will get 2x less than 5. Once I get this, I will get my x less than 5 over 2. But for this question, you have to take note because you have to know that the inequality value, okay, the x value of x must be bigger than 0. So, which means for this question, I need to check it for when x 3x minus 4 is bigger than 0 and I will get this equation and I also need to check for the other set of x which is x plus 1 bigger than 0 okay so I will get my answer like this so I have three sets of inequality here which I need to put them into the line diagram so i will arrange like from the smallest number negative one to the biggest number which is five over two i will arrange them onto number line and i'm going to put in all these inequalities into the number line okay so i will start with x less than five with a round dot why because it is less and equals to so this 5 over 2 
actually is part of the answer so i will write it as so the second one is x bigger than 4 over 3 i need to put it in a round dot because there is no equals to for that question okay for this inequality so i need to put a round dot for it and lastly for x bigger than negative one so again it is a round dot so i will put a round dot and my arrows the inequality that i need means the domain that i need for this question is where all the three lines are together okay where all the three lines are together so this part over here is going to be my answer so my answer is going to be the solution for my inequality will be from 4 over 3 until 5 over 2 but 4 over 3 are not included you see this round dot over here it is not included but 5 over 2 is included that's the round uh, duck dot over here so when i do the inequalities one side is not included one side is included okay when i build the uh, notation form so this side is not included there is a round bracket and this side is included that is where the square brackets come in okay like i say if you don't understand how i put all this bra round bracket uh, and square bracket or dark dot or round dot so please tell me i will make a video for you okay so that's the end of the video and I hope you will hit the like button if you learn something. And if you have not subscribed, I would really, really love that you hit the subscribe button so that I do not need to sh like share this video all over the place. Okay, you can um, know when the video is out and just click on it. Okay, so I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye, and I hope to see you again. See you. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.